how they pushed the fuel truck was a little bit wrong. They saw buried the bus. It came to a slow stop. Oh dear. I think my radio is overheated. It's hot weather. Don't worry, Bertie, said Butch. I'll tell you to the steamworks as soon as I can. Butch was about to help Bertie when suddenly he broke down as well. It was an awful mess. Uh, what happened, driver? said Butch. Uh, I think there's a problem, said Butch's driver. Looks like you've broken down. The hot summer has taken a toll on your, on your engine and it blew up. We're going to have to get some help, Butch. I'm sorry. All the vehicles on Soto were breaking down as well. Bulgy was breaking down, George was trying to pave, but he couldn't do it either, and then Terrence was breaking down as well, and even poor old Trevor, who was uh, working in the field. Elizabeth broke down a half mile away. Thomas and his crew heard about the news as it was reported to the Westwood Station Master. I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, it looks like all the vehicles on Soto have broken down. Can you... Go find some flatbeds and take them to the steamworks as soon as possible. Uh, yes we can, said Thomas' driver. Uh, no problem, said his fireman. Come on, Thomas, let's go. So they collected the breakdown train, they coupled Thomas up to the breakdown train, and Thomas puffed away to find all of his vehicle friends. Duck arrived with some flatbeds and found Elizabeth and his crew. Thank you, Duck, said Elizabeth. Yeah, it means a lot to me, said Trevor. But... I'm glad that you have come to help us. Wow, well, and hard to believe in this in this hot weather at this time of the year. I, it, it's remarkable, said Elizabeth. Every uh, Trevor and Elizabeth's crew said thank you, and Duck puffed away with Elizabeth and Trevor. The Nets found Bulgy. Thank you, Duck, said Bulgy. I guess this is my comeuppance for many years ago, but here I am, said Bulgy. Then Edward arrived. Thank you, guys, said George's crew. Yeah, thank you, too, said, uh, said everyone else. And Doc popped away with Elizabeth, George, and Trevor, and Bulgy to the steamworks. Then Doc came back with the a spare flatbed and found Terrence. Thank you, Duck, said Terrence. Man, this hot water's taking a toll on me today. Finally got the better of me. But I'm glad that you've come to help me, Duck. Thank you, said Terrence. A Duck took Terrence to the steamboats to be repaired. And then Edward took the remaining crew as well. Finally, uh, Thomas arrived with the breakdown train to help Butch and Bertie. They were all loaded on the flatbeds, ready for the steamworks. They were very relieved to see Thomas. Thank you, Thomas, said Bush. I don't know what I could be done without you. I'm usually the one rescuing vehicles, not, not the other way around. Well, that's a good way to help a good friend, said Bertie. Thank you once again, Thomas. I, you owe me one. <laughs> I don't know if I owe you one, but... You know, it's, it's, it's been quite a day. Let's get you to the steamworks. And Thomas put the way with Butch and Bertie to the steamworks to be repaired.